So, 2021, eh? It's over. Today is the final day of 2021. And let's all be honest. It was probably a shit year for everybody. And some people aren't really hopeful for the next year. And I actually found this really funny uh, meme. Uh, I'll see if I can find it. You can see it on screen now if I could. But... It's, it's, if 20, when you realize 2022 is spelled 2022, like a second version of 2020, and I found that funny and hilarious, because it probably is going to be, but I have one better for you, 2021, I'll give you a second to figure it out, alright, 2021, 2021 over everybody, which definitely was the case for me this year. This has definitely been the worst year of my life. And I'm not here to really complain. I'm just here to share my experiences and finally come out to the public about a lot of things going on with me and, and like how I felt this year. And just like, I don't know if anyone can like take some good advice from here and, and help themselves, I'd really appreciate that. But yeah. I'm probably gonna make some jokes, so don't take it too seriously. I go through all these things and everything. I'm just making jokes to be a little more lighthearted because I really don't wanna like go too hard and you know, I'm gonna have a breakdown like this picture right here. And we're gonna talk about that later, but yeah. Without further ado, let's just begin. So 2020, when it, <laughs> 2021 when it began you know I was just kind of hopeful for the future obviously in my first ever video I was talking about like stuff I'm hoping for in the future of 2021 I was hoping f I was like planning myself on YouTube and on myself clean 2021 obviously that didn't fucking work <laughs> from clearly that um it didn't work. I didn't. I wasn't clean this year at all. I was very, very dirty, and um, yeah. It's it was uh, yeah. I was like very hopeful for everything and stuff, and as the days kept going on, I was like okay, but I felt a rapid decrease in feeling motivation for anything really. Because um, you can clearly see I took a three week break and everything even when I got this ring light right here I took a three week break back in January and I wasn't very excited or hopeful for anything anymore. I just felt like an underwhelming like bottom of the iceberg instead of being on the top and or I don't know if that's a good analogy, but anyways, you get the point. Um, I felt not very good at all, and and um, you know I was I was off and on, but what I didn't realize was my behavior was getting worse. So when I decided to like make this whole skit centering around Naruto stickers. And the video's still up, I'll leave it up. It, it was a mistake that I'm going to remember forever, and that's why I'm gonna keep that. Um, when I made that Naruto sticker skit, I just felt myself rapidly deteriorating, and I, and I like, obviously burned the stickers. Um, that got me into a tiny fight with my parents, surprisingly not bigger than I thought, almost burning the house down and everything. I say I'm a professional, but I'm definitely not. And I still regret that. But then a couple days after that, I made quite a big mistake with my friends. And this just canceled everything for a month. I was grounded for a month. Because of this mistake with my friend, I pulled this really shitty prank on my counselor. And my, like my old counselor, by the way, so it was stupid and useless. And I got in trouble for it. And, um, for that month, I was like, alright. I felt myself getting a little bit better. 
and when I came to YouTube back in February, I felt fine, and honestly, um, I felt really good, kind of, you know, or, no, was it February? No, it was March. Yeah, it was March. When I came back in March, I was really happy, kind of, and I was getting my grades back on track, and I was doing okay, and in a month, um, I'd be able to you know, go back to school. So I came back to YouTube and I was pretty happy and I was doing some stuff. I was off and on and um, there was an underwhelming feeling though that kept rapidly decreasing the more I made mistakes that I noticed. And I always kind of felt this and I think everybody feels it. So as, as I kept going on, I felt that feeling increase more and more, especially when I was alone and I was like, something isn't right. And then in April, um, it got to a point where I realized I was very depressed and, and like self-harming myself mentally and I just kept beating myself up over and over again and I kept feeling like the world hated me and whenever I went to people nobody responded I just wanted to talk to a friend about something and you know I was talking to my friends here and there but one one friend I really wanted to talk to but she never answered and that was one of the things that fucked with me the most because I know she struggled with depression and when I was going through everything and realizing I sort of had it, I came to her for help even in my lowest time where I um, actually self-harmed myself. It was the worst time of my life and I really regret doing it still. And... Um, I don't know, I just, getting that low made me realize that I truly had a problem, and, and, um, yeah, I, after I did it the first time, I came to that same person, because I trusted her the most, and I asked her for help and everything, um, I didn't go to Michael, even though I told him, like, I was feeling really down, I didn't go to him saying that I self-harm myself because I know he would tol tell my parents and everything. Um, because he cares about me and I care about him. And he was the w he's definitely the one person who's got me through this year, so thank you, Michael. But um, I just kept going through this and everything. And for about two weeks... I self-harmed my, myself here and there, and um, one night when I got into a fight with my parents, pretty extreme one, I, I got really down and I felt like going back to the bathroom, so in the moment I yelled out that I did it and I showed my mom my cuts and everything, and it was sort of just a silence of a moment, and um, since it was April, I was about a week or so away from going back to school. And me and Michael and my parents had a talk that I should probably go get some help. So I took, I don't know who it was. It was either me or Michael. It was probably me. I, I don't remember. I don't remember who it was. But I'm pretty sure Michael may have emailed the counselor and everything. But I took initiative or no, he or I did, and I was really nervous to go get help. I was nervous to go to school anyway, and when I went to school for the first time in a year, I didn't feel right, I didn't feel happy at all, and I just kept feeling like it was a hassle I had to go through and I'll never recover from. Like, this is my big start. This is everything. And I felt like I was fucking up because already I wasn't happy. It's was a new start for me. And 
I felt the lowest I have ever felt in my life. But I did go get some help with the school counselor. And for a while I talked with her every day before she suggested uh, therapy. Or not every day, like every... Actually, yeah, probably every day. And um, so I was getting that arranged. And eventually I did get therapy. Um, and I'm still getting therapy and everything. And I'm happy with that. And, um, my therapist is amazing, um, you know, she and I get along very well, but in those first weeks, I just felt, I don't know, a lot telling my stories and stuff, but it was a lot, I liked to get it off my chest, and since it was a professional, I liked to talk about it and everything, so, yeah, after that, I felt like I was getting a little better, slowly and surely, I kept feeling like I was getting better, but lower moments came and higher moments came. Lowest being contemplating suicide once again, highest being, um, you know, feeling on top of the world. And I kept going through this over and over again um, throughout the months. And then obviously I came back to YouTube, or no, in May. I moved to this new house, my house for the next three or four years, depending on if I go to college or not. And, um, and yeah, I, I, um, li loved getting this house and I loved being here and, um, other things like, uh, Other things happened like getting out of school and you know I had a few bit of a social group my birthday rolled around the month later or the month of because I actually get out of school in June how crazy is that anyways um I had a good okay birthday and then in July I came back to YouTube after a little bit of an absence after my birthday and, um, you know, afterwards I started uploading more and, you know, that was, that was a good experience to feel getting back into the groove with something I loved and I kept doing it happily. And honestly, um, it just felt good to feel back in my zone. So then after that, I, um... August and September rolled around and I came up with really good ideas mainly the one I'm still working on is fueling my music more and kind of making an album to release for myself and for other people mainly for myself because obviously I'm not the biggest person and and I'm not gonna say that I am but like but like um make it for myself and and just like try new things and keep going with the stuff I enjoy just like this channel and um, I've been doing that obviously that's why I got this mic right here which I'm getting a cover for soon so we will be even better with recording music and everything and um, yeah just just like getting more with that that mic will also help for videos and everything and um it's just it's just a lot um in the next coming months obviously i made the curse of 2170 i brought that back and i was really excited to finally get it done and obviously on the 31st it was done it was ready and it was posted and you guys blew that up and supported it so much and i really appreciate that and honestly that was a great feeling another on top of the world feeling that i felt um getting like so much attention for something i worked so hard on and that's what i really 
love to do with YouTube. Like, not the most attention, but at least some attention helps me and fuels me to keep going to see that people like what I do. And having that much attention just fueled me for decades, genuinely. So yeah, thank you all. Then November came around, things were off and on again. Um, one of the features on one of the big songs I was making, which by the way has been released um, this month, it's called Karen, so I'll link it in the description. It's a really good song, in my opinion, and the feature is amazing. Um, I had issues with like getting the feature because obviously like, because obviously like, um, I'm not somebody with like a credit card or anything. So like, even though it was for the low price of 30 bucks, I had to like get him a gift card or something, something like that. So I went and the first time I failed because I bought the wrong thing. Uh, then the second time I got it in and, um, it was a while, um, with no really response about about what's going on. So in December, I got really worried, but then he cured my worries by actually sending it to me and I didn't see it, so yeah. Um, so after that, really, um, and I just skipped November because that was the most boring month. But after that, December was really off and on. Obviously, the past week, I felt, the past weekend, I felt great because, you know, it was Christmas and everything. It was a good time. You know, I got cool things. I got that Infinity Gauntlet up there. I have headphones behind me, this microphone, Thor's asgard and stuff like that and i just felt really good you know getting presents does doesn't everybody and and i don't know just getting the mic made me so incredibly excited for what i can do next and everything so yeah i um i felt really good but that underwhelming feeling again never goes away even if you get therapy which I forgot to mention, I'm not really the best at like therapy myself. Like the thing about therapy that people get wrong is that it people don't just expect a therapist to to go to a therapy. Uh, people expect uh, like when mocking therapy, they expect, oh, you really believe you walk in and a therapist is gonna cure you of all your worries? And the answer is no, and therapy was never supposed to be that way. Because you walk in, you get advice to help yourself and also relation and also feeling like you're connected to that person. And my issue is that I'm not really the best at therapy, therapy myself self-therapy and just like trying to lift myself up when I'm down. I'm okay at it, but I need to get better. And that's the thing I guess I could wrap this video up saying is that you can be at your lowest, you can be at your highest, but life's a shit storm that has ups and downs. At the end of the day, you just need to keep moving forward and just like keep going as long as possible you need to create a legacy you need to create a good life for yourself for other people you need to realize that you are important in this world and don't believe that you're not because you are so that's why in 2022 i'm gonna keep this movement forward in my head and just keep saying that I am a good person, that I am an important person, and my life will get better. So, yeah, anyways, thank you and fuck you 2021 for everything you've given me. And thank all of you guys for supporting me and everything throughout this year. And yeah, I'll see you in 2022. Goodbye.